I'm Al Roker, reporting from the ice cold tundra of Centralia, and as you can see, it is freezing out here. We have ice everywhere. This is, of course, an arctic biome. First thing I notice about this biome is that there's very low solar insulation, which means I won't be needing these shades. However, because of the low solar insulation and the permafrost, which is ever-present, there tends to be large puddles, as you can clearly see. Yes, I need to bring my galoshes for this trip. Now, this is fairly typical with all permafrost situations. Due to the high melting, you see, the soil will never have a chance to regenerate. So you end up with these, these puddles, as you see here, filled with what would be soil in other regions. Alright, all plants and animals have made their way to adapt to the frigid temperatures of the region. As you can see, the trees have shed most of their leaves and are now relying on their roots to gather nutrients from the soil, or what nutrients they can get. Plants and animals in the entire area are doing similar things. As you can see, the Gongolophan bush and the majestic Centralian arachnid plant are trying their best to survive these temperatures, but it appears they aren't faring so well. The Gongolophan bush is well into the third stage of, <laughs> of its life cycle, and this is clearly not a good thing. Well, we've made it back here to the safety lodge of the Arctic program, and to conclude this report, I'd like to say that there was very little biodiversity. Aside from rats and college students, I saw little or nothing out there, and the college students were out. Unlike the rats, they had scent. <clears throat> this is uh, Al Roker reporting to you live from the Arctic program. Thanks for stopping by. I see trees of green, red roses too.